Hey guys, it's Fee. I got an Ipsy bag. October Ipsy. Have not opened it yet. I'm going to open it right now. And I'm kind of excited to see if they can beat last month's bag because I'm still in love with last month's bag. Okay, so it looks like we got stuff outside the bag. So I'm going to do that first. And right on top. I have a BB cream from a crew New York. This is, and I'm going to mispronounce this because I, I just don't pronounce things well. Acacia, A C A C A I. Help me out, guys. Protein BB cream beauty balm for the hair. For the hair. And this is uh, one fluid ounce. It's pretty good size. It's pretty good size. And. I have never tried a BB cream for the hair. I've tried a BB cream for the face. I've tried a CC cream for the face, but never a BB cream for the hair. I will definitely give it a go. This says benefits a light, versatile, all-in-one styling lotion that harnesses the moisture and protective power of, I can't pronounce it, <laughs> that word, collagen, <laughs> for ultimate conditioning, manageability, smoothness, body, and shine, perfect for all hair types. Work through damp hair, starting at ends and working up. Style hair as usual. For added hydration, may also be applied to dry hair. I'm actually tempted to try it right now because this is a hot mess right now. Um, I've been up quite a while. <laughs> and <laughs> it was originally in a ponytail, and I took it down, and this is what I ended up with. So, um, sorry for the hot mess on the head, but this is what you get today. I will definitely try that. I'll probably try it tomorrow morning. Okay, so now I find... Their theme card, Beauty Candy. Beauty Candy by Ipsy. It's actually kind of cute. So let's see what they consider to be Beauty Candy. Now I finally see the bag. It is teal. This is a little bit brighter than what's coming up on the camera from what I can tell. This is definitely teal. I gotta tell you, teal is not my favorite color. It's actually my least favorite color. But this is like quilted. It's a vinyl bag, and it's quilted. I like the way it feels, despite the color not being my favorite color. Um, and this is a really cool feeling. I could like do this all day long. It feels like a really cool bag, right? Ipsy tag. Zipper is on the side, not on the top. They had one other bag like that earlier this year that I thought was kind of cool. It was different. All right, so bag is pretty full. So we've got one item already cream for the hair and now I see looks like cleansing cloths yes by skin with a Y skin Iceland and another 12 hour work day I should use these today way too tired to wash my face before bed wow this company knows me Skin looks as exhausted and irritated as I feel. Makeup is wreaking havoc on my face. Skin can't breathe. Breakouts popping up daily. Went to the gym during lunch break. Rushing to get back to the office. Face feels grimy and shiny. How can I cleanse on the run? I, I, I love I love the products tag on the front. That That's hysterical. I would buy it just because of what they wrote on the front of the bag. But yes. And it looks like there are... 10 single-use cloths in here. So this is this is a pretty good test. I will definitely use these. These will probably land in the purse. All right. That's two wins. All right, and now we have City Color B Matte Lipstick. And it looks like the color is cappuccino. Let me see if I can get this open reasonably quickly. All right. I like the packaging. It's kind of pretty. And this actually looks like a color that I would definitely use. These, these are the colors that I like. Neutral, neutrally. It's almost the color of my lips, but that's all right. That's all right. Let's see. Let's get up nice and personal here. Pardon the skin demons. There you go. Not a lot different from my lip color, but... I like it. That, that, that's what I like. So, I did not get a bright red or a crazy pink. 
That's always a bonus. I'm always afraid of opening an Ipsy bag and finding some crazy lip color that I will never use. This one I will use. Absolutely. I like that color. All right, so three wins. Three wins so far. What else do we have? I see a compact from Doll 10. And highlighter. Hi Actually, I've really been into highlighters lately. I, I only have one at the moment, and I'm running out. And... I won't have to buy another one because I can use this. In Champagne, it's got a mirror on the top. I'm going to cover that. What I'm seeing there on the screen is pretty accurate to what it is. That's really, really pretty. It's, it's very creamy. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a powder. This is very creamy. And let's see. You guys are not going to be able to see this on my skin. It's right there. You can't see it. Can't see it. Sorry, you're just going to have to take my word for it. It's it's pretty. It's pretty. I like the way it feels in the skin, even though I was not expecting a cream. But that might go. What do you think, guys? That might go. Actually, maybe a little bit too close to my skin tone. But for one of those want to look natural days, it might work. I will try it. I will try it. This says it's made in Canada by Dalton.com. I'll give it a go. All right. And I think the last thing in this bag is, what do we have, what do we have? It's a hand cream. Roseberry Nourishing and Soothing Figs and Rouge Hand Cream with Shea Butter. I think the container is actually kind of cool. <laughs> and it's made in the UK. Now, I don't know about you guys, but anything made in the UK or Korea, I love. I really can't tell you why. Some, I just think they know how to make cosmetics in those countries. Either that or I've just had a lot of luck with those. <laughs> but this this smells really pretty. It smells like a rose garden in England, which is a good thing. Um, it doesn't smell like old lady rose. This smells this smells like roses on the breeze. Sugar, I'm smelling sugar. This is really, really nice. Really nice. Okay, now let me put down the bottle. Because I can't do this one-handed. And let's see. I like the way that feels. Oh, that, guys, I want to eat my hands off. I know you typically wouldn't want to eat roses, but I can't explain it. This, this stuff smells really good. Really good. I think this is going to go on, like, my Ipsy favorites for the year. Very short list. Very, very short list. There's a couple of things from this year that I've went and repurchased because I liked them so much, and I think this one is going to be one of those things. Oh, love it. Love it. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's it. So, um, oh, which, by the way, they said beauty candy, right? I guess this kind of might smell like candy, but to me, to me, it smells like roses and sugar. So I guess that counts. All right. So what do we have? We have the bag. Not fond of the color, again, but it's a really cool feeling bag. Um, we have the lotion. We have the lipstick that is a good color. That's always a bonus. We have the towelettes. And we have the hair BB cream. And we have the highlighter. So we got five things plus the bag. Typical Ipsy. And once again, I'm liking this month's bag. Um, I'm liking the contents at least. So Ipsy wins again. Ipsy wins again on the fee book. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.